Hi everybody, come along with me today as I make camo soap. Welcome back my friends. Today I am making camo soap. I started off the normal way with kale and clay in my lye water solution and pouring that into my melted oils. I am soaping around 100 degrees today. I am also adding my fragrance oil early to the entire batter. I know that this fragrance behaves well for what I'm doing and since I need my soap to set up a little bit to achieve the design, I feel comfortable doing this. The concept of camo is simple. Think greens and browns, try not to swirl the colors, and be okay with getting messy. Today, I am using the spoon plop method. I mixed my colors before I started. I have activated charcoal mixed with black night mica, chromium oxide green, oxide yellow, brown oxide, and titanium dioxide. Hmm, lots of oxides today. Oxides are good for earthy colors. I have a teenage son. He thinks it's funny to bend my metal silverware. I have since replaced our cutlery to something more heavy duty. Now I get to use these as soap spoons, but I think of him every time. The fragrance I'm using today is Balsam Cedar from Wholesale Supplies Plus. It is described as a crisp blend of balsam pine, aromatic cedar leaf, and juniper berries, delivers a fresh floral scent. It smells like the woods, the good part of the woods, in a very delightful way. I thought I could cheat and do a pour. This soap is still too runny. I'm gonna have to wait five minutes and try again. Back to that spoon plopping method. I'm alternating the colors and trying to create a random pattern, but in a controlled way. Here we go. This soap is designed to please my hunting friends. In Eastern Oregon, hunting is a big outdoor activity. It seems like some animal is always in season. Now, I don't hunt, but I do appreciate those who do share their spoils with us. My husband is in IT, you know, computers. He is known to fix a computer or two in his off hours and happily gets paid in meat. Yummy. I couldn't resist a light spritz of glitter. I know some really awesome girl hunters. Think of the glitter as a glimmer of light shining through the trees or a sparkle from dew drops in the morning. And now the cutting. I really like how this design turned out. Every bar is different. I like the bars in the middle the best. So that's it for today. Maybe you like to hunt. Maybe you like to go hiking. Maybe you like to stay home and try new recipes with the meat you bummed off your friends. Whichever. I hope you enjoyed my video today. Remember, great soap doesn't have to be boring. See you next Sunday.